Uh, today we're starting Unit session, uh, 7, Lesson 1. Um, and this is all about expressions and orders of operation. So the expressions, are, it's like the equation, but there's no equal sign. So you'll see words like simplify instead of solve. Um, it's still the same exact concept, so we're trying to bring it down to a smallest number, but it won't always turn into a uh, one number equal, uh, sorry, one number answer. Sometimes you might have a variable and a number in there, um, but that's for later on down the line. Um, but today's lesson really focused on how to write word problems or express, uh, sorry, word expressions in different uh, ways. So let's say, for instance, we have this. Uh, one and a half times P. They want them to write this in many different ways. Um, so for multiplication, you can use words such as times, multiply, uh, you can use product, uh, and you're just going to rewrite this. You can still use the, nu the numbers in the variable, um, but instead of putting a period for the multiplication or instead of putting an X for the times, we're actually going to use a word there. So we can put one half times p, or we can say uh, we can ask a question: What is the product of one half and p? Okay. So there's many different ways that you can do this. Um, so let's go on to another problem. Let's say we have subtraction. Subtraction, you can use um, either the word subtract, you can use minus, um, you can use uh, difference, um, sometimes you can use more than, uh, but usually you want to try to stay with the words that uh, are really related to um, subtraction. So let's say we have 7 and 5 tenths minus uh, 2 and 25 hundredths. So you can say something along the lines of what is the um, quote, I'm sorry, the difference of 7 and 5 tenths minus tw uh, 2 and 25 hundredths. Or you can say um, subtract 7 and 5 tenths minus tw uh, 2 and 25 hundredths, so forth and so on. Okay? The other thing that they do is that they give you the word form and they want you to turn it into, uh, turn it back into number form. So let's say it says something like, find the product of, let me see, uh, 12 and 110. Well, we look for keywords. Product, we know product deals with multiplication. So therefore, I know it's going to be 12 times 110. Other keywords for addition, you can have add or you'll see something like sum, combine. Uh, for division, you have divide by or divide into. So those are some of the words you want to keep an eye out for. The last thing that we did today in class, uh, we were talking about how to write out, um, or sorry, we talked about order of operations and how to write out those types of problems too. So let's say we had a problem like this. Okay, so we have 12 times, and then in parentheses, 5 plus 7. Well, we know that we have to do 5 plus 7 first because step 1 of PEMDAS, or orders of operation, is parentheses. So, we need to make sure that we tell people we want to add first. So, we can say something along the lines of um, 12 times the sum of 5 and 7. You can say something along the lines of 12 times and then put parentheses around it, 5 plus 7. Um, or you can do something like, um, well, I guess we can ask, well, we'll keep it there for right now. Uh, another one that we looked at is we looked at the same problem. So we say 12 times 5 plus, two, uh, plus 7. In this case, it's not in parentheses. So we still need to do, uh, in this case, we need to do multiplication first. So we want to tell people, hey, we want to do 12 times 
5 plus 7. Okay? So just thinking of different ways to write these in word form. We also have these written in another way too. Uh, so let's say, uh, sorry, we have to change them back. So let's say we have. It says find the sum of six and four, then oh wrong there. No, I had it right there. Alright, then multiply by three. So we know that we need to actually add first and then multiply. So if we want to tell our, our um, people that we want to multiply uh, sorry add first, we're going to go six plus four in parentheses. We have to put the parentheses there so we can say, hey, this right here needs to be done first then we can say multiply by three okay uh, if you have any problems or if you have any concerns shoot me an email and i'll definitely help you out